Hi, this is Blake Levine, and today I want to do an audio CD titled Bipolar Fresh Year, Fresh Start. Many of us that live with bipolar sometimes have years that seem like there's many difficult obstacles to handle. And when we face a year like that, it can be very important to reconnect with nature and to look deep inside and say, how do I make the next year better? And in this talk today, I wanna to share some ideas and some suggestions to help you make the next year a more happy, peaceful, joyful, and loving one for yourself and those you know. So the first tip I wanna share is to let go of the past. We may have had a year where things were difficult and we were struggling and we didn't know what to do. Myself, this year was quite hard. I was put in a mental hospital, even though I hadn't been in one in many, many years. I was ill again and it was very tough to be taken away from my family and to be placed in an institution. I learned when I was released that I had to start over again and rebuild. And even though many of my projects were knocked out because of the issues of this year, I realized it's never too late to start again. And I wanna encourage you, if you've been struggling, maybe you lost a job, maybe you couldn't find one, maybe you have a business that seems to be faltering. Whatever it is, remember that it's not too late to try again. You may be in school, in high school, or college and your grades have slipped and I want to suggest to you that you say to yourself I can do this I can get stronger I can rebuild my education I can rebuild my career I can rebuild my family I can rebuild my friendships my second suggestion is to get outside and be in nature I'm here at a beautiful nature park in Florida and I've learned that when I'm in this gorgeous setting with trees and flowers and ponds and lilies I can start to open up my mind and reconnect to the beauty that is all around me. The next tip I want to share is to learn to say things to yourself that make you feel happy and joyful. So oftentimes we criticize ourselves and we say things that can be mean like, oh, I have a pimple and I look ugly or my hair is starting to thin or I'm not as tall as I hope or the other people I know have more than me or whatever you may say that really damages your inner being. And you can always change that by starting to say things that are better. Maybe you say, I'm trying as hard as I can. I know I'm going to do a great job or I'm looking in the mirror and I'm learning that God made everyone different and I'm starting to accept myself and love myself exactly as I am. We may say that we have had problems but we're still here, we're still living, we're still fighting it out. I lost my brother a couple years ago to a heroin overdose and it was so sad to lose him and it makes me realize that I'm blessed to have this day, to be alive, to be able to be in the world and I remember those we've lost and those that are not here and I say, you know, this has been a hard journey, but I'm still trying. I'm still working on figuring it out. I'm willing to go on the path, try to get well and happy and healthy and joyful. And I wanna leave you with one last tip before I go today in this audio. Remember that life is constantly changing. You may have felt like the biggest loser, but you can become the biggest winner. And remember that winning can happen in all different kinds of ways. For some of us, it'll mean financial success. We'll finally have the funds to support our life. We'll be able to financially take care of ourselves and to be healthy and happy. And I envision that for myself, that I'll financially be well off, even though I've had some tough years. Now it's time to not struggle and to be very abundant financially. And maybe that's your wish too, that you're now financially abundant and you learn different ways to attract money and while you're doing that things are feeling better for you because when you have some money in your pocket you can start to do more things maybe you go to concerts maybe you go on a vacation maybe you have money to build a business maybe you have money to buy art maybe there's different things you can do with the abundance you attract and I just want to say to anyone out there that's struggling, remember that God loves you exactly as you are. You're an important part of our world. You may have faced problems and issues, but we need you here. We need your love. We need your energy. We need your passion. We need your light. And we need you to remember to never give up. I want to thank you for watching this video today. We have hundreds of educational ones on YouTube. You're welcome to check out if you want, like, and subscribe to the channel. I also want to share, I do a life coaching program by phone. You can learn about the life coaching program by going to my website bipolaronline.com that's bipolaronline.com or blakelevinecoaching.com thank you so much and you have a great day